What's up guys, coming at you with another FortiGate tutorial here. In this video, we're gonna discuss how to perform an iPerf test from your FortiGate device to an iPerf server that you have set up on your network. The server that I have set up is on a Windows PC in my lab. Um, so I'm gonna be running the FortiGate in this instance as the client and my PC that's on my network as the server. So in order to do that, what you're gonna first have to do is make sure that you have iPerf downloaded onto the computer that you want to run it on. So if you're unfamiliar with iPerf or if you don't have it downloaded, you can go to iperf.fr as shown here. And once we're at this website, we're going to click download iperf binaries. I'm running a Windows PC, so I'm going to go ahead and select iperf 3.1.3, which is the newest version. This is the version that's supported on the FortiGate device, so I would go ahead and download this here. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and extract it. Once it's extracted, you're gonna go ahead and pull up your command prompt. Now, it, the iperf has to be run from command prompt, so we have to change our directory and run it from the directory um, that it sits in. So because we just downloaded it, it should be in downloads. And then I believe the next folder is something like this. And then there's another folder within that folder. Okay, so now we should be in the correct directory. So if you download it, extract it, you should get something a little bit like this. And we're gonna just type dir to make sure that we are in the right directory. As you can see here, iperf3.exe, that's what we wanna run. So we're gonna type that in, and then we're gonna hit hyphen s. This is gonna put iperf in server mode, and we're gonna be running the test from the FortiGate as the client, so we want our computer to be in server mode. Hit that. You should receive this message saying, server listening on 5201. Now, in order to make sure that this is gonna work, you have to have your Windows firewall disabled. You can allow, you know, you can write a rule just to allow that one port, but I just went ahead and disabled my firewall here. If you don't know how to do that, you can go to turn Windows Defender on off. And as you can see, both of mine are off. Okay, so once you have that firewall disabled, now we can pull up an SSH setting to our FortiGate device. Okay, now we're logged into our FortiGate device. So in order to see what settings are currently set up, um, On the FortiGate for iPerf, you're going to type in diagnose traffic test show. And this is going to, you know, whatever appears here is what the current setup is on your box for, um, you know, for the iPerf test, the default. So we're going to change some of this information here. We're going to type in diagnose traffic test client interface. And you're going to want to put this as an interface on your local network that resides on your FortiGate. So my local interface is called internal on my FortiGate, the one where you know I have some devices in my lab um, tied to. On that interface is a 192.168.1 address. This has to be an interface that has an IP on it. So I'm go ahead and I'm gonna set that. Now, just for the purpose um, of the tutorial, if you leave server interface even though we're not configuring the server on the FortiGate, you have to put an address here that has an IP address. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and put internal again here, even though uh, you know we're not using the FortiGate as a server, it tends to not like it if, in my case, port one is not an interface on my box. So if I try to run the iPerf test, it's gonna you know yell at me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assign this one to internal as well. Obviously, if you are using the FortiGate as the server, you would have to put you know the correct um, interface there. So now we have to change our port. So you're going to do diagnose traffic test port and 5201, I believe, is yes, 5201 is the one it's listening on. All right, so now we have our interfaces set up and we have the port set up. Now we have to run the actual iPerf test. 
So for this, you're gonna do diagnose traffic test run hyphen C because the FortiGate is acting as the client in this case. And then you have to put the IP address of the computer or host that you have the iPerf server set up on. In my case, the, the iPerf server is running on 192.168.1.17. We're gonna type that in, we're gonna hit enter. Okay, and as you can see here, we're getting the bandwidth here. Looks like between 500 and 700 megabits a second. Um, and I believe it only does a, a 10 second test on the FortiGate. I think that's what I read. Um, so it's reporting every second, uh, you know, its results. Now, I don't really think there's a lot of, you know, leave in the comments, please, if you know any other commands to manipulate um, some of the iPerf. I know iPerf itself, if you run it between two hosts, there's a lot lot more granular that you can get with the different um, switches that you can turn on and off. Uh, but, you know, that's how you run an iPerf. If you're having trouble connecting or you, you're, you think you're getting, you know, weird speeds from a server on your network to the FortiGate, you can test it this way. If we pull up our command prompt on our server, we should get similar information here. So I plan on doing a few more tutorials just on iPerf itself. It's something that um, I'm, I'm new to and I just, you know, kind of wanted to make a few videos for myself on how to use it and the different switches that you can use for it. Um, being that I have a bunch of FortiGate equipment at the house and, you know, I'm just trying my best to learn it. This was something that I found useful and I had to do a little research on in order to figure out how to get it working correctly. So. Thought I'd put a tutorial out there for you guys, mm -hmm. maybe save y'all a little bit of time. As always, guys, if you appreciate it or, you know, enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep trying to put out um, just helpful IT FortiGate related videos. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm very new to the industry and I want to learn as much as I can. And I just want to put some content out there to maybe help other people learn and you know, give them something a little more easier to digest than having to go through all the, you know, the websites that I had to go through. Um, so as always, guys, thank you for watching and have a good day. Take care.